because right. you go, they watch The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, and they're not doing that. Right. And, and, and I mean, I feel like this here, like I said, you know, personal attacks should be off the table. If you want to say something about something stupid that I did, have at it. You know what I'm saying? But to get personal, I haven't heard people talking about they questioning my finances. I'm thinking, what? I mean, what like, do like, do you not realize I can mortgage your house with one item? You know what I'm saying? And and, yeah. and you don't know me like that. <laughs> no, they they don't they don't know you like that. But that's what reality TV comes with because it's not our reality; it's their reality. You know yeah, what I'm no saying? Doubt. So right. So we have to, you know, have bigger skin. But at the end of the day, I do feel, and I've been saying this as of a black station own station that is is supposed to represent black excellence at its finest i feel like there should be some more positively positive things shown to showcase us as black people because yeah, even no though there, even though there is like you know they're gonna have the negativity and things like that because they have to make mm -hmm. a good show but there needs to be mm -hmm. some type of positive highlights as well to show our character because we never even got a um a casting special. So we just went in guns a blazing and people don't really know our backstories or who we are, background, families, kids like that. So it wasn't really fair. So they just mm -hmm. came in guns a blazing and people just have all this commentary to make. And so I really right. think that you know, they should have did a better job in showcasing some type of positive some type of positive stuff with the cast. Just me personally, that's my opinion. Right. But do you feel like, you know, as a um as a cast mate, as a participant in the show, do you feel like that's an entitlement for people to um hurl your hur hurl their insults towards you and you know that you're deserving of that simply for the fact that you wanted to go on the show? Now you must take their lashes. I mean, it, 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 I, it, I, I feel like it comes with the territory at the end of the day. Um, it does. It comes, it does with, it, with, it comes the with the territory. So we all signed up to be on TV, and we all know that we live in a very high social environment. Everything is social media. Everything is opinionated commentary. So this is what's going to happen. Um, and we're talking about black um, this is not, we're talking about black, a black network, black social media, black Twitter. This is what they do. Right. How, so, how do we so, stop that? Well, I don't <laughs> think, I, yeah, and I think, and here's what I'm thinking, right? I feel like, how can I say this? All right, so as black folks, right, we have to sort of reframe our mind because what what we do, and this is just, you know, is bad, but what we do is we try to get to reach for the biggest insults and the best insults to get the credibility from certain things, right? Like in these rooms or, you know, like on these uh, YouTube videos and stuff, people always in the comments, they want to see how many folks are going to reply and keep up the whatever, right? Um, but what they what what they don't understand is this. Like, we're human beings. You know what I'm saying? And, like, some of us have thick skin. My skin is probably as thick as, uh, you know, a uh, five brick. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if it, if it wasn't, I would be in, in shambles. But it's so frustrating to look at our own folks and this is the, like, we never can get ahead because we get our asses kicked on both sides from people that are black people and people that are not black people. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's funny. Have you ever been, well, you've been out of the country, but it's funny how if you go out of the country, everywhere you go, black people have the same stigma, Right. If you go to Germany, France, Japan, whatever, 
it's like, don't trust them. You know, they're shady. Um, you know, grab your wallets, grab your purse. It's like, we just carry this load already. So, like, it just as us as, as black people surviving daily, we walk around with that nasty load, and then we get the pile on from other folk. You know what I mean? Right. I, I, I get you. I mean, I, I totally understand like what you're saying in, in the frustration um, that, you know, we are getting slander. You guys are getting slandered um, from all angles, from all ethnicities. Um, so we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, you're getting harsher, but do you find that it's this, do you, do you find that it's more the bloggers Hmm. Not mm -hmm. intensifying it, or do you find think, that it's just tro yeah, people so, trolling? People just trolling. So, I, so this is what I think. I think that certain bloggers have an arena for that type of BS, right? Um, you know, when people get into those comments, they just say, "Okay, fuck it, have at it." You know what I mean? Go in, do whatever you do, or whatever, right? And like, okay. Then you have the other side that you have where they like, yo, we need to get this bullshit out of our um, stuff. We're not trying to run that show. We're not here for the teardown. We're here for the review. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, I get it. You know, it's like shock, uh, shock jocks, like uh, what's his name? Joe Rogan, uh, Howard Stern. You know, they, they get paid off of, you know, the most craziest things or, you know, the, the biggest uh, shocks or the, you know what I mean? All that other shit. They, that's how they make their money. Um, so I feel like, you know, some of the I mean, you, you Paul, shit. you know, you've been, you know, the talk of the, every episode, every episode, they got something to say about you. Oh, every I already episode. know. Every episode, yeah. they got some shit to say about you, whatever, but I think you've been handling it well, honestly. Oh, yeah, no, for sure, you know? for sure. Yeah. I think you've been I, mean, I think you've been handling it well. Um yeah. but with the negativity, you know, you also getting those 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 creepy DMs and sliding through. So you get the negative and then you get the positive too. Um do you think it's more negative than positive? Oh no, nah, okay, so nobody has ever came to me on nothing negative personally, whether it be, you know, through the um DM or whether it's in the real world. I know for sure in the real world, they're not going to come to me and say no crazy, nothing crazy. Um, but, you know, I've never gotten anything in the DMs that was just like, you know, what the hell is going on with this? Um, but I, I, I feel like, and I mean, there's not, I already accepted the fact that there's nothing that I'm ever going to be able to do right according to these people. Right. <laughs> They, like, they broke down these one scenes. I was sitting there just laughing. I was laughing at the comments and just laughing at how, you know, I don't want to use the word stupid, but how, how uh, ridiculous it was to even go there. You know what I mean? It was ridiculous. I'm like, this this show is that meaningful to your life. Like I, I never knew that. Like I'm this is like, you know, the heart that pumps the blood in some people's body. I mean, yeah, some people actually have no lies and they all they do is is sit and troll and you know, I feel sorry for those people, honestly, because right. you know, it's not a amount of time that they spend um going from Facebook page to Instagram to Twitter. I mean, I wonder these people even have jobs, but that's their business, you know, whatever. But at the end right. of the day, at the end of the day, we all, everyone on TV signed up for whatever.